I'm here in PHP MyAdmin and I want to make a new database and add some tables um, and set up the, the columns and all that business. Um, and I can do that without using Pure SQL because this is like a graphical interface for this thing. So I'm going to show you how to create a database and add some tables to it um, without writing any SQL at all. So um, this is my main screen when I come in and log into this. Um, if you need to get back here for any reason, you just hit this little home button and it'll bring you back to this screen. But if I want to make a database, I'm going to click on database and I want to create one. Um, let's just call this um, things. I'm going to hit create. Okay. And now I'm going to work in things. So I'm going to come over here and click on it. So I'm specifically in this database. Um, you're going to have a bunch of these over here. Don't mess with them. Um, we only are going to work with the one that we created here. So I'm going to make a couple of tables. The first one I'm going to call thing. And I'm going to give it three columns. I'm going to say go. Okay. And then I get to choose what the columns are and what types they are and uh, if they're going to be primary keys and so forth. So I'm going to call the first one thing ID and I'm going to let it be an integer and I would like it to, let's see, be my uh, primary key and I'm actually going to let it auto increment. That's what this AI is short for. It means every time I put a new value into this table, it's just going to number them like one, two, three, four. It's going to keep going. Whenever I add a new one, it's going to increase that number. That way I don't have to make up um, an ID that's going to have to be unique. This thing will automatically do that for me um, every time I insert something into this table. Okay, so and then I'm going to give it a thing name and I'm going to make that a varchar. And then I'm going to make a thing picture. And I'm actually also going to make that be a varchar. Um, this is just going to be a file name, essentially. Um, and when I've got all this stuff set, I'm going to hit save. Oh, what did I do? Oh, it's not a number. Oh, it's going to force me to do this? Fine. Um, let's say 99999. We'll make the name a max of 200 characters. Let's make the picture name a max of 200 characters. That should be enough. Save. All right, 255 it is. All right, so now if I look at the structure of this table, Here's my thing ID. Um, you'll notice here under primary, it's grayed out. That means that this is going to act as the primary key in my table. Uh, I got a name and a picture field. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back and click on things again, and I'm going to add another table. So let's click a table called person. It also has three columns. Go. Okay, so I'm going to say person ID. I'm going to do the same thing where this is going to be my primary key, and I'm going to let it auto increment because I don't care what their ID is so long as it's unique. Person last name. It's a var chart. Let's say 200. Person first. Oops. Name. Var char. 200 characters. Let's say go. Okay. So now I've got two tables in my database um, and I'm ready to do some various other things, but we will put that in a separate video.